Hello, everybody. This is Catholic Dad, episode number 123. Don't be finicky with food. And um, anyway, food is uh, it's something that's good. It's nutritious for our bodies. Uh, something that, um, like, really, there is no harmful food in the world, with the exception of perhaps some extreme food allergies, which are actually quite rare. But nonetheless, um, and actually, let's talk about the vice of effeminacy. Feminacy, I've talked about before, is actually the disordered attachment to pleasure. How do you know if you have a disordered attachment to pleasure and you have a vice of effeminacy? There's a couple of good indicators of whether you do or you do not, and one of which I think is being finicky with food. If, you, um, if you're unable to actually try food or you know, um, just take a bite of something you don't necessarily think you'll like, then you have a disordered attachment to pleasure. It's actually a good metric. It's a good indicator of it. If somebody says, hey, you know, try this little piece of uh, shrimp or try this muscle or try this something that you think would be disgusting, and you refuse, you just absolutely refuse, uh, you probably suffer from a disordered attachment to pleasure, the vice of effeminacy. Everybody should be able to submit to somebody asking them to try uh, any kind of food. It doesn't matter what it is, unless, of course, again, again, there's a severe allergy. It just just means you don't want to do something you don't want to do because you want to be comfortable all the time. That's a, a, the vice of effeminacy. The other thing is, um, uh, what about like electronics? You know, electronics are so pervasive these days. If you um, throw a fit or get angry or... Uh, become agitated when somebody takes away your electronics or you're not able to check your electronics, that probably indicates you have a vice of effeminacy too. And if you have this vice, by the way, this is, this is actually a horrible vice. If you have this vice, you need to realize it. And most people don't realize it in themselves. That's the, that's the hard part. So if you like comfortable things, if you don't like doing hard things, if you like attach yourself to electronics, or if you're very finicky with food, those are those are good indicators that you suffer from the vice of effeminacy. And if I'm talking to you and you hear this loud and clear and you go, wait a minute, I'm kind of like that myself, start doing some thinking. And if you do some thinking, figure out, yeah, maybe, maybe I am just a little too comfortable all the time. Maybe I don't like to try things new because I like to be in my comfort zone all the time. Uh, then that's something you probably should work on because uh, the world around you is always uh, presenting you uh, new um, ideas, new things to try, and, you know, and to be interactive in the world, to like to actually like uh, hang out with people and like form a society, you kind of have to try new things. And plus it also helps, um, uh, it also helps out with family peace and family harmony. And so if that's you, start trying to work on not being so comfortable. Like if somebody says, uh, you know, you don't like peanut butter or something like that. Hey, you want to try this peanut butter cookie? Sure. Yeah, I'll try it. No, it's great. Th thank you for thinking of me. And suddenly there's no, no, I don't like peanut butter. Oh, please, I don't, you know. Well, really try it. I made them for you. Well, well, no, I don't want to do that. Well, you might suffer from the vice of effeminacy. So uh, eat your peanut butter, people. Eat your shrimp, eat your whatever else. Um, you don't have to like like it, but you, you do have to try it and you do have to step outside of your comfort zone because these are little things, you know, like with regards to food and electronics, no big deal. You know, it's not um, like these things are harmful to your soul, but they are an indicator that of bigger things that may be harmful to your soul. If you're too attached to pleasure when it, you're dealing with your children, you may ignore them. You may stay on your phone the entire time. You may not parent your children properly. You may not be responsible for their soul because you're on social media all the time or something like that. Uh, so the vice of feminism, get it out of your life, try to throw it away. But the hard part is identifying if you have it. So this is Catholic Dad making you think about it. Please like or subscribe, uh, share with your friends, and um, God bless you all. Get the Mass and pray the Daily Rosary.